Kino, you know, how about you? And particularly now that uh, you're a high school teacher, do you have to carve out the time, or do you approach it the way you you did before you became a teacher? You know, it um, like Jack was saying. Sometimes uh, you know it's not all there, and then sometimes you just can't seem to write fast enough. You know, um, uh, I carry a well. Now it's an iPhone. I mean, for for years I would carry <laughs> yeah. around <Yeah. laughs> the, the little uh, mini cassette recorders. You know, I, I I was I cleaned my garage the other day, and and there was a whole bunch of them. I was thinking, man, I, you know, when I get time. Yeah, when I get time, I should you know pull that out and uh, and see what uh, what was on my mind at that that day. But uh, I get inspired by a lot of stuff. You know, I, I've I've been real political throughout most of my writing career, and um, so a lot of the stuff uh, that I've been doing lately. I just finished a record that took me a long time to finish, and the reason was because it was half in Spanish, and it was it was I kind of had to learn how to write in Spanish uh, before I could finish the record and um, I was going to school at the time a lot of the, the immigrant marches were going on so I, and, and I was hanging out with Chunky and, and Los Alacranes so I got into the real, the Mexican folkloric thing and, and was really inspired by that so that kind of uh, shifted uh, things and um, and then just fired up you know and being in a big march we went to the big march in LA and it was like uh, there was a million people on the streets, you know what I mean? I came back, I mean, just the, the ride home from that was just like, I just couldn't stop riding, you know, and putting ideas together and putting stuff down, so. Um, but it is tough now, you know, the kids, it's like sometimes we gotta wait till everybody goes to sleep. And, and uh, my wife, she's really cool about, uh, she knows, like she knows when I grab my guitar and I go, honey, I gotta get out of here. You know? <laughs> and I'll go into the garage, which is the only place, and it's not really set up. It's a garage, you know? <laughs> it's like screws and rakes and stuff like that. It's not my little studio or anything like that. But, but there's a little bar stool there, and I kind of, you know, we'll, we'll set up, and there's a little window right there. And, um, and, uh, and sometimes, you know, some, I mean, sometimes, man, you got to stay up till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. That's, and I'm talking when I have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning mm -hmm. to, go, to go to work, you know. But, uh, but like Steve said, it's worth it, man, you know, um, to, to, to eke out that, that, that little extra uh, line or, or melody or... Uh, um, you know, I like to just remind everyone that you, you gotta, you gotta give the world what, what you got. You know, you can't can't be sitting here trying to compare. I mean, it's nice to be inspired um, by people, and um, but uh, you can't deny the world that little ingredient that's just you, and that uh, that you have to bring to the table and trying to find out exactly what it is and you know it is like stripping our stripping down naked and uh and and saying you know because sometimes i get so frustrated with my shortcomings you know i go man i wish i wish i would have spent more time you know learning how to arrange music and 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 or the guitar you know this instrument has been such a pain in the ass <laughs> in my life you know but but, but you have to rely on your strengths. You know, you have to kind of be honest about what you can do. Be honest about what you're supposed to present, what you are supposed to bring uh, to the world. Um, and just try to rely on that positive vibe, you know, saying, you, you know, you got something. It, I know it's not, you hear the cliche, everybody should write, draw a picture, everybody should write a poem, everybody should be an artist. Well, you know what, man, that is so true. <laughs> that is so true, and I, you know, I, I'm fortunate to be a teacher, and I get to, you know, tell it to kids all day long and remind them that we are here to express. We're human beings. Uh, if we're not expressing, then I think a part of us is dying inside. If we're not able to get, you know, this emotion out, because for me, writing music has been my medicine. It has not been. Um, 
You know, sometimes it pays the bills. Sometimes it's a good party or it's a good time or it's, you know, a thrill, a kick. But usually it's about survival. You know, it's about how am I going to get through this day? How am I going to get through this week? How am I going to, you know, find the strength to keep on going on? And I know that uh, songwriting has been that, been that for me.